Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, coming to you from Mackinac Island. And I'll tell you, right now, there's not a better place on earth. We're here for the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. And, you know, one of those things that makes our economy go around, and the reason we even need policy, is money. We need money to make things happen. And uh, Chris Reisig is with us right now. He is the CEO of uh, Renaissance, right? That's right. All right. And it's good to have you here. It always is. And you are a must-have on every year for us because you you are right there in the middle of the economic indicators. Well, that's nice of you to say. I feel like we are with the, the changes in the economy and all that venture capital and startup companies are playing a big role in, in the changes in America right now. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that many years ago we were sitting here doing interviews saying, what's the biggest problem? Access to capital. And we have no venture capital money in the state. That was the time when I started Renaissance 15 years ago. Michigan was sort of a third tier state. Yeah. And if you look forward in that time, the amount of venture capital every year in Michigan's probably gone up almost 10x. Uh, and it is definitely a place to watch for people around the country. Well, I remember when Baron Gia came from the West Coast, right? And I and I had uh, lunch with their guy because he wanted to get a feel for things. And uh, he said, yeah, we're looking at Michigan as the land of opportunity. <laughs> well, you know, if you think about it, we have our, our research universities, which tend to be sort of the, the, the engine that drives it. You know, there's, there's no place that has better larger research institutions. University of Michigan is the number one public research university. And not, not a lot of people know, 25 startup companies came out of U of M last year. Yeah. Uh, again, number one in the country among public universities. We used to cover their tech transfer um, that, that would take place. Matter of fact, that might be where we first met. That's right. So I actually just became the chair of the National Advisory Board for Tech, tra- tech Transfer, now called in Innovative partnerships. Unbelievable. Yeah, and you're right. They spin off all the time. And, of course, we know the automotive industry has always spun off patents and opportunities. Mm-hmm. Right. And businesses. Let, let's tell everybody about Renaissance. Though. Sure. So Renaissance is a fund of funds. So what we do is we invest in top venture funds around the country and under the condition that they begin to look at startups in Michigan. And we've gotten into some great funds. And gotten those funds engaged here, in part through an event we do twice a year called Undemo Day, where we work with the universities and the seed funds, et cetera, and find what are the hundred or so best startups in Michigan. And we bring in a couple hundred VCs and sort of put them together in hundreds of one-on-one meetings with the whole idea being letting these funds around the country know the great things going on here, but also the result should be they should be investing in startups. And if you fast forward now, we're 15 years in, we've helped attract almost $3 billion into Michigan startups from venture funds in our network. Unbelievable. And, you know, it used to be, uh, they would say venture funds, you put money into it, and the, 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 the 15th one pays for the 14 mistakes. That That's not the percentage anymore. Gosh, no. I mean, that's a tough way to live. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, certainly there are... There is a high failure rate, but there's a high failure rate in business generally. Right. But a good venture fund is going to have more than one hit. They're going to have a few hits, and they're going to be smart about those that are misses, you know, kind of realizing it early and and not continuing to put sort of good money after bad at something that's not working. Well, and it's timely to talk about this just coming out of COVID. You had a pretty good hit just about that time. We did. Uh, So we had a stake in Moderna, um, really founders shares in Moderna. Uh, and it was great because it was, it was, it was great for us because we felt like at a time when everybody felt helpless, here was something we, we had worked on that was paying off for the world. I actually volunteered and was, uh, in the clinical trials, uh, at Henry Ford in Detroit, uh, with, you know, when I, I was comfortable, it was that it was safe. And so I put my arm out there and let them give me a shot. Well, if you couldn't, there'd have been a worry with that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, so let's talk about what, about the ongoing business plan. Are, are you uh, on a continuum of raising money so that you can reinvest, et cetera? Right. When you're, when you're in our world, you raise money every few years and then you invest it. And it's a normal cycle. And then as you get returns, you send it back to your investors. And it's, a, it's usually a three or four year cycle that, that funds like ours go through. It's a pretty difficult time in the venture world right now. But so was 2008, 2009 when we started. That was a difficult time. 
turned out to be those were the best years for investing. Yeah. And that's just kind of the way the cycles run. 2020 and 2021 were really great times. You know, in retrospect, are they going to have have performed like the 2009 companies and 2010 companies? The Moderna, which was 2010. Yeah. Um, you know, those are the ones that tend to come out of hard times and really, you know, outperform others. Well, there's no bad time to start a good business. Right. You know, that's and, right. And it's interesting, those times, it's almost like the colleges kind of uh, notice uh, when there's a economic downturn, when there's high unemployment, people start going back to school, getting right. up new skill. Same thing happens. with Right. Safety. And that's really, that is going to be, as we, as we move forward, what's going to make a difference in Michigan? It's really going to be that. It's going to be having an educated, trained workforce because um, all these great startups are happening and they all have to hire people, Yep. you know, and, and many of them with special skills. And we got to get people in here. Yeah. Atmosphere here, pretty good. We got about 30 seconds left. Yes. I mean, nationally, it's tough. Michigan is doing better than its share. Uh, and we have a lot of really wonderful companies that are growing here right now. So I'm I'm pretty bullish on what's happening here. Well, Chris, it's always good to see you. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. Good to have you on. Chris Reisig from Renaissance Venture Capital. We are going to be right back, but right now uh, we are coming to you from the Grand Hotel where we were uh, invited to the uh, Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce's annual policy conference. Stick with us. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. 